Hey guys, I'm Rosavana. Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Where we last left off was we basically, uh... Yeah, I think we basically just, like, still exploring a little bit of the the newer realm. I guess we're in Tartarus, I think? Can't really tell what realm we're in every time. Uh, because of the fact that we are always, like... I mean, no, we're not always, but we're, we just transition into places that... I'm just going into it kind of like almost unfamiliarly. Um, but yeah, we finished Elysium like a couple episodes back. But I'm thinking this is Tartarus because of the fact that uh, Hades is here in a weird way. But I still don't know what's going to be next afterwards, of course. All right, let's, let's get into it. I think the last episode I did clear out a, a space. Uh, a space where it allows for me to... Yeah, I cleared out the space here to kind of allow myself to to do whatever, I guess. Is this it? Dolls in the underworld. All right, so the next part there. At least they're giving me a waypoint instead of like making me second guess myself where I need to go. But yeah, we were just exploring some footsteps from a little kid, I think, or it looks like a little kid's footsteps. So we're just following up on that, I guess. There? What's this? A message. Child's note, dear Mata, dear, dear Mata and Potter, uh, we've never met me, you've never met me, and I've never met you. But it's time we change that. So if you find this letter, meet me north of the Baron Point Pond. I will find. I'll wait you. I'll wait for you there. There we go. Sorry, I'm reading like terribly. Okay. I'm just reading like what am I looking at in terms of instruction for this thing. But yeah, we were just doing a side quest about like finding a kid um, randomly and then we were just like, yeah, we're just following on that. I just accidentally stumbled like upon this fortress, I think it was. Yeah, the Baron Pond. I stumbled upon that, closed out the two rifts and got two ability points and I think we spent it on damage, I think, on spear. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for the last episode. And we just talked to Charon for the first time, so yeah. Um, Scorch Lands. I believe this is Scorch Lands, yeah. And then we need to find the West of the Passage of Souls. West of the Passage of Souls. West of... Okay, so somewhere around here, I'm guessing. That's my guess, is like it's right there. But I mean, everyone is looking for someone, right? Like, it feels like this place is just, like, for the dead to do whatever they're doing, but... I don't know. I also feel a little bit like, again, like, this game's- or this particular realm, <coughs> almost like the other one, almost like Elysium, feels pretty empty though, like, there's no encounters to- to be met unless you stumble upon a rift or something of the sorts. Um... Are we here? Is that- is this where we're supposed to be at, I guess? Passage of Souls? I can't tell what the passage of souls. Is this guy floating? Yeah, he's floating. All right. Maybe this thing. I don't know. This is the only thing that's like west of the uh, area here. That isn't like considered like non. Like, there's no other places that are like location based. I feel like. Yeah, because the passage of souls is right here. So he's. She said. The west is like this area here. So yeah, let, let's kind of carry on to that one, I guess. Considering that that is the only spot I can see that's like actually an existing spot for what we can find about the girl or the kid. He or she, yeah. I <laughs> like I was like he or she. I shouldn't say girl kid, but it was just my assumption. In my head said it might have been it might have been somebody's daughter. I think we're getting close. What is this red line in the sky coming down to whatever that is? Lost Temple of Nyx. Huh. I can't go in there, sadly. Because this has a rift. So I need to have a... Not to get spotted. I need to have a living ar armor, don't I? Shoot. But this is not the spot I'm looking for, though. 
No, I'll come back here later. Actually, no, you know what? I'll do it. I want to do it for the ability points specifically. Because I personally would want to get more ability points. But I think that the one half of the rift is missing because I can't get to the other side. Okay, I thought I couldn't, like, get into a hiding bush. Uh, I need to scan it out. I totally forget to scan things out because of the fact that, like... Because of the fact that, like, uh, there's another one right there inside the building. Jesus. Oh, I see. I see. So the rift just exists for the sake of just existing, but the rifts don't have to, like... Like, the, the whole foggy thing is, like, existing in a way that's separate from the, uh, the whole area here, I guess. Oh, there's another guy. What is that? Dogs? Let me see. Oh, there's just some sort of like stone bringer thing. I don't know what it, what it means. There's another one. All right, sorry. The the freaking like rifts create some sort of like big noise. It's just annoying. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's see what who we can who can eliminate here. So we got like four folks that we can eliminate here. But I need to like really like catch them when they're not yeah I can't catch them all right here or I can't knock them out or anything here or kill them all here because one guy is like in the fold of like problems I guess there we go out oh boy the other guy turned away which is nice at least the guy, the other guy turned away, I guess. At least that much is given. Oh, there's another, uh, area here. Oh, god. Okay, hurry it up, hurry it up, Cassandra, please hurry it up. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I was scared because it's like... <laughs> Because the animation is slow enough to like let the AI move towards an area I don't want him to be coming at me for, but... Is he gonna get nearby here? I don't even know anymore. Oh, he is taking the other spot for the other guy. But the other, the other golden dude over there is coming over, so that's making it a little bit more tougher. Yeah, it's just tough because the AI just moves wherever they want to move, and then I'm just like screwed. Yeah, they just move wherever they want to move, and then they they just kind of make it harder for me a little bit. Sheesh, dude. They're all walking away. Uh, okay, let me move. At least, uh, at least one of them is, like, moving away from the area, but still... Alright, good. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know when to just jump in and just get them out of here and then just be done. But I think once we assassinate this person, we're pretty much on the all clear, I think. Alright, there we go. That should be all of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Drop, drop, drop. There we go. Whew. That was a close one. At least no one saw where it went, but still. Oh, come on, please, please, let me let me get out of this, please. Okay, cool. They didn't really spot me, but then it kind of looked like they spotted me, but it was just... <laughs> Alright, so we got an ability point, so that's good. But we need to clear out some more rifts before we... We need to get to the other rift before we can actually assassinate these folks here. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because you have to climb into the the spot here. Like I had to climb up the up this little road here to get to that spot for the other rift. Hate it when it's like blocking my way. Yeah, I have to like wait for them to move. Climb, 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 go, 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 up, up, up. 
I mean, it is interesting that we just need to climb up here because I was just thinking, why not just climb around here? All right, yeah, there's another rift is right here. It seems like the other folks don't know what's up yet, but that's totally fine. All right, that's out. I'm gonna wait till uh, gonna wait till my <clears throat> my adrenaline meter comes back up again, and then we can take out these last two. Hopefully, hopefully these two get together like close enough, and then I'll do rush rush assassination to get rid of the two immediately. But we'll have to wait and see, I guess. I have to also be close enough. There we go, and goodbye. It's all good. Ability point two. <clears throat> Alright, let's get the uh excuse me, excuse my clearing throat. <laughs> it's been a, it's a morning right now still for me. Um yeah, so we got those two ability points, so let's go and spend that immediately. What is this? Oh the child's note thing. Okay. Um do I have anything need do I have anything I need to upgrade in this menu still? I have no reason to really feel like I want to upgrade anything in here because it's just like, eh, at this point. But what is this? Yeah, I don't really use that ability much, so that's why it doesn't really matter as much. Alright, yeah, last time I spent the upgrades, the upgrades all went to the spear. Um, but I also want to get more assassin stuff done. Um, hmm. I mean, I'm not going to use the hero strike immediately here nowadays, but I do want to get this rush assassination to make sure that those kills do matter. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't. I think my uh, headphone jack was like loosening up a little bit. Somehow, I don't know how it loosened up there, but um, let's see. What else do I want to do? Do I want to continue with the warrior or the spear one? Then maybe I'll do one more for spear for now. I do plan on maxing out this eventually in the future. I'm thinking the max damage point, a uh, damage percentage is probably 25 because Ubisoft loves to curve things to, to a point where it makes it hard for you still. Because they don't want OP people because they're, you're playing in a single player game that you don't want to be freaking forced to be good at the game. Or be more powerful than the enemies in the game. <clears throat> That's how I feel every time when I get into this still. But it's whatever, I guess. Alright, I know there's one chest over there. What's the other chest? There it is. I was like, there's gotta be- there's two chests here, I believe. But it's just a matter of, like, getting to them, I think. I wonder what this is gonna give. Oh, just a- Shark teeth? <coughs> shark teeth, what the hell? There's no sharks in this- in this particular area, is there? Alright, I'm guessing the last chest is not gonna be obtainable until I open up the fog door, maybe? That's my guess. Judging from the whole thing. I'm sorry, I'm spinning around a lot. Because I'm trying to figure out where there might be a door that might lead to this spot here. But it's like, there's only one spot here that I know. That's like a door, but it's... Yeah. I think the fog is the one the one where you would find the last chest thing. So I'll just ignore it for now. Because I think there might be some more to it in this area that I won't get to at all at the moment. So we'll have to wait until a lot later. Dismantling for the leather, as always. Alright. But no, still, I haven't found the, the little girl I'm looking for. The heck? West of... The west of the pastures of Silrite? Wandering west of. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna walk way close to this and see if that is truly the case where we're just needing to walk close enough to that area and then having to... Uh, and then having to make sure that she is just literally right wet, like right next door west to the pastures of souls. Because that is not helping me a lot in understanding what the hell I'm looking for. Yet, uh, the area has not told me to start detecting where she is because of the fact that 
if I get close enough, they usually tell me like, hey, pull out Ikaros to scan the person out or scan the, the character out from wherever it is. But otherwise, I'd say that this is the most west there is to this area. But I'm guessing she wandering, the little child wandering west is like literally walk, like wanders like right next west to the passage. Plus, we haven't been to the passage before. Like we, was it, we were forced transitional cut. I think like they forced a, a transition about showing how the path, uh, what path we walked on. Oh, I accidentally spotted that one out. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. Diary of Orph Orphice Orphides. Ophidice? Ophidice, I think? Interesting. This is a quest, isn't it? It has a quest item. I don't know what quest item that is for. Not related to what we're looking for. Unfortunately. Also, it's interesting that this whole place is like very narrow and everything. But what's even cooler is that they try to narrow everything out. Okay, so we're not getting any closer to where we're supposed to be at, I think. So this is not... <clears throat> this is not helping at all. Like, this is... I'm confused, because it's like, west of, and we literally went west of. In the center. That... Oh, then why add the west of the Passage of Souls? Because that's a given, god dang it. So somewhere around here, basically. Or maybe, like, much more closer to the center, I guess, is right here, maybe. Because that is kind of the closest to the Passage of Souls. I don't know. I don't like the direction of this one a little bit. Because it's like, there's two conflicting ones a little bit. Or that one... I mean, no, they're not conflicting. But just one seems kind of very vague, while the other one seems very specific. Like, the first one should have been what I read more thoroughly. I didn't read the first one thoroughly enough. I just assumed the second one was the most accurate information, but that killed me off like crazy fast. <laughs> it killed my direction of moving like crazy fast for no reason. What is that? Is that a skull of a dinosaur? Skull of a saber tooth? Or basculus maybe? Okay, let's see. Where is this kid? This kid's gotta be somewhere. Right. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. I lost her again. Oh, lost him again. Lost her him again. Nope, that's animals. Phoebe? Phoebe? Wait, Phoebe? Oh! Who was it? I think it was uh, Persephone who offered to bring somebody back to life, but I, I said... Phoebe should have been the one. So I'm guessing that Phoebe was the one who ends up being chosen here in this case, right? That we get to meet. So the choice Phoebe? that we picked early ended up being here. Oh, Phoebe, I never thought I'd see you again. Are you a goddess? Phoebe, it's me, Cassandra. It's nice to meet you, Cassandra. She can't remember. Is that your eagle? I wish I had an eagle. She doesn't remember anyone. I know you do, Phoebe. I know you do. That's so sad. What are you doing here? Playing? How do you know my name? Mm. Uh, shoot. I can't lie. Who the hell gives an option of lying? Uh, in this case, I feel like it's just not cool. Try to remember. I don't think we can force her to remember. So I think the best choice is the first one. I could never forget your name. There hasn't been a day I don't think about you. I don't remember you. Do you work for the man with one eye? Yes. Who's that? He gave me this water when I was thirsty. You drank Lethe's water. No! Phoebe, this is very important. I need you to remember who gave you that. I... 
I don't remember his name. Um, he took my toy. You God damn it! Eagle, like Icarus. If we get your eagle back, maybe you'll remember. No, I remember everything. I think. No, you did not. You freaking <laughs> Phoebe. <laughs> I hate the fact that the guy, whoever this person is, gave her. Oh, it might have been the the. Oh, the Cyclops from the first part of the game, isn't it? No, <laughs> I can't believe this game is playing the game of nostalgia. You know, it's been about two and a half years since I've last killed the, the Cyclops in the beginning of this goddamn game. And I can't believe this guy has to come freaking back. I mean, it's Phoebe was like gone in my playthrough probably like like very early on and that was like about almost a year and a half ago at this point but cyclops dying was the very first thing i did in the game and that was like literally like the very start of the series i think almost so it's kind of like uh what excuse me kind of thing to me it's just like why all right do you remember anything from before drinking that water no i i've always been here hmm Strange. Try to think. Do you know where the man with one eye took your wooden eagle? I think he said something about the pit. Mm. The pit of deprivation? That's it. Oh, jeez. Okay. The man with one eye should never have given you this water or taken your toy eagle. We're going to get it back. You mean steal? Hmm. Yes. Stealing is exactly what I mean. Something tells me you are going to be a natural. Want to come with me? You want me to come on an adventure with you? Okay. I mean... Let the adventure begin. That is what Phoebe would have wanted. If she still had her memory and stuff. Okay, we still got time. Alright. Um, let me see what this journey looks like. Oh, we're gonna go into the... We're gonna be going into the area that we haven't gone into the region-wise, I guess I'd say. Alright, that's not bad. I think I needed the, the region to be unlocked eventually. I mean, this area, fortun fortunately, this area is a lot smaller, so I'm very happy that they actually made it a bit smaller compared to, uh... Wait, why is there two spots? Why is there two gold spots? You remind me a lot of a girl I knew on Kefalonia. Have you ever been there? I've always been there. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to kill kill this dog before I can hear oh, her talk. She was brave and smart. She'd say she looked up to me, but I'm the one who looked up to her. Did you ever tell her? No. I wanted to, but I ran out of time. Don't be sad. I bet she knew. Mm. That girl left Kefalonia eventually. Where did she go? Athens, where she was loved by people like Pericles. Does that name sound familiar to you? <laughs> That's a funny name. It sounds like a sneeze. <laughs> Anthusa. No one who meets her forgets her. No. Yeah, let me let me clear my nose first because my nose is bothering me. But that's kind of sad just to see that, um, that she's forgotten everything, like literally everything. So it's like, I don't think we can fill that memory gap because once people drink it, it's pretty much gone for them. So it just really sucks that they got Lethe's water. I don't, I still don't get how Lethe's water ended up in this very spot. That's just the weird part because they said that she banished. Uh, but Savoni says she banished all of the water, but she, I guess she, they never mentioned how she ban banished them or where they where she banished them to. But I guess it makes sense that they would banish them in the into the next realm because they kind of want to make sure these lost souls don't feel like they are. Yeah, because they don't want these lost souls to feel like they're tied down to something specifically. So that's what probably happens with these uh, Lethe waters is that they need to use this to make sure these souls that are coming in here specifically are going to leave without caring or thinking about anything. So I guess that, that makes sense a lot. All right, let me clear my nose and then I'll be right back. So it will be a snap. All right, cool. Welcome back. Myself, I guess, as usual. All right, yeah. So we are, I, I guess the reason why there's two goals, which I saw earlier, 
uh, was because one of them is uh, a marker for Phoebe because she's following me, basically. But I'm wondering, like, I, I guess this is kind of like Cassandra's kind of farewell kind of feeling, I think, because uh, she never got a proper goodbye to Phoebe. But ultimately, I think that giving our emotions to Phoebe here in this side quest and then saying goodbye in a way that's like, we won't see her again is a good sign for me, I feel like. Like, it, this is give us a proper goodbye to Phoebe in general. Persidus, I don't give a crap about. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Persidus would have been the character that replaces Phoebe if I chose Persidus in, like, the earlier choice with Persephone. Persephone. But, like, I doubt it. Like, that, that I doubt that that's interesting. Um, I mean, I much prefer Phoebe because that's the emotional tie. Unless her character is like beneficial because she might do something to help us when we're trying to deal with Hades or something, but in that case, I just feel like that's really pointless to do that kind of thing because it's not necessary, but I feel like the story wants to be like that. Put some emotion behind it further. Chasm of Torment. Yikes by the names. All right, here's the Chasm. Okay, we're pit. here. You better stay put while I go find your toy. Alright, well, here we go. I absolutely did not scan here, so I'm gonna... Wait, what? There we go. I didn't scan anything here, so I'm gonna be freaking screwed, I feel like. Yeah. This is gonna suck a little bit, because I have to, like, close out the Tartarus pits or rifts without any prior knowledge of any enemy in here that I can see immediately. Unless the rift is not like in here, in here, but I should try to stay out of sight. Okay. Yeah, maybe the rift is not here. Hopefully, but we'll see. Shoot. Yeah, no, I hear rifts. Damn it! There's a rift up there. It seems like I don't know if there's any enemies. No, that's not an enemy. That's not an enemy either. What? Oh, there's enemies. Yeah, I have to make sure I spot out all the enemies. That thing looks like a scary thing. This little rock thing looks scary to me. There we go, that's one. Getting out, getting up, getting up, getting out. I don't know if there's any more guys, I'm hoping not, but... Alright. There we go! And he's out. And that's all that was. Okay, cool. That scared me a little bit because I was just like, oh dear, I hope I don't get caught up with the whole mess of that all. <laughs> but luckily it took less time than normal. Alright, so that's only three guys, so that's pretty good. At least it took three freaking dudes to get rid of that rift itself. Where does this lead? Genuinely curious. Oh dear, it's, it's the lava all, all over again. Oh my god, the lava system. Like, the lava system I, I remember from, like, the, the volcano that we had to go through. I'm curious about the stones. That was just my curiosity, wanting to see if the stone destruction had anything to do with anything. Um, Let me try to use the ability point here, since we got the ability point anyways. Might as well. Gotta get the leather. That has no leather, sadly. Um, Alright, let's use the ability point. Um, hmm. I'm thinking about just putting it down to the assassin ability. Uh, yeah, one of these things here. The rash assassination. Rash. Or the super strike. Or maybe just this. But I don't want it because it's such a skewed percentage. You know what? I'll do with critical assassination for now. Yeah, because the critical assassination has better points amount for now. 
um, considering that I am doing more critical assassination more often than anything at the moment. But it's whatever it is. Is there another pool of lava here? River of lava? Yeah, there is. Wow. Just wow. Get out of here. How do I get here? Get through here without dying? Ugh. Ooh. It's always so scary to go in through that because that always gets bothersome. Okay, I need to figure out where the other guys would be at if there is any more, but... Yeah, that's just a pit of fire. <laughs> I guess they're talking to a point where they're not paying attention. Oh, there we go. I was like... They're not, t they're not paying attention, but that's fine, I guess. Alright, at least we got that going. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I'm guessing one of them might be walking up in soon, maybe, maybe. I can't tell if anybody's walking up or not. I know there's another dude down here besides... There we go. And gone. There we go. Cool. That was a really scary moment, though. That's a very, very scary moment because it's like I could as I could easily get caught down here and be like screwed from from it. But at least we got through that pretty easily. <coughs> All right. So there's nothing in here really. There's really not a lot in here. Yeah, I'm guessing that was... This spot is only for, like, the rift, I'm guessing. And that was, like, pretty much it. Alright, let's jump over to the... Jump back to the other side, at least. Freaking lava scaring the hell out of me, because I had to, like, walk over that every time. Okay, so we went away from what we needed to, what we needed to go to. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we had to. We walked away from the spot we need to be at. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let's go and try to get through here, I guess. I don't think that leads anywhere, and I don't believe that leads anywhere besides, like, just additional lootable items, I guess. But. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, okay, I guess. Alright. Living Kefalonia? Oh, jeez. Alright. I'm just, like, trying to figure out where I'm hitting. Alright. He's dead anyways. Oh. What did I get? Oh, el elemental buildup. Okay, that's not bad. He's gonna... There we go. I'm gonna let him burn out. <laughs> I just love how he flies off like that. I'll take it. Yeah, so I I mean, I kind of know it's a Cyclops. I, I have a feeling it's a Cyclops. I don't know why, they, why they're why they playing cheeks, cheek and tongue with me, but it's just like... I know who it might be and who this, who this technically is going towards anyways. Now let me loot this thing. I think the final chest is behind the fog, though, because there's not a lot of room besides that fog that has been blocked for me, but... Alright, let's see. What is this? Even if this doesn't bring her memory back, we'll make new ones. That's what together. I assume. That is what I assume as well. Alright, so I'll end the episode once we get back up there. Um, so far I'd say that we made good progress in this side quest, I believe. But I'm also worried because I feel like the guy might be... The dude might be, uh... The, the Cyclops might be in... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I love how she said that so quickly. Oh, oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, I forgot I need to, like, roll. I need to roll around if I'm on fire. But thankfully, I made it out of there without having to... to get to her. Okay, we need to climb up here, I believe. I'm guessing Phoebe might get caught here, though. I'm just worried, though, because she's up there alone. Wait, where am I going? Oh, I'm going the wrong way, isn't it? Alright, I think it's this way? Yeah, this way. Yeah, because I forget a little bit of where I needed to go. I think the, the way I would remember it was because there was a bunch of dead burned body. A lot of burned bodies were in it. Um, that is not the way out. This is the way out, yes. More dead bodies, so remember that you need to get out of here soon. Alright, let's get out of here. Wow, this is really cool though, like the idea of like climbing out like this. It's really cool. Just the concept of it is interesting to me. I'm hoping Phoebe is full bright though. I really hope so. Because it kind of sucks that we have to like deal with Phoebe like being in, in here. But I'm like wondering like if they do die here, like wouldn't it not matter either way, either ways, I guess. But anyways, I'll end it here actually. I'll end it here and the next episode we'll go ahead and talk to Phoebe about what what she what she thinks or what she remembers if she does remember about the toy, I guess. I doubt she'll remember the toy though in general. Uh, okay, that's that. Um, dismantle all that, like, for the leather I need. Okay, let's see. What do we want to spend for the ability point? I'm thinking, yeah, more spear damage because... Again, I'm constantly going to be fighting a lot, and so it's going to end up me being, like, this kind of thing where I have to do that. At the same time, I can kind of upgrade warrior points as well, as well just to give myself some extra points for fighting. <clears throat> because right now my warrior abilities are or my warrior damage is like barely enough to suffice for some of the fights that we're going through but then again the assassin stuff is really important for me because i'm just like going around just assassinating people as much as i can so yeah i guess okay let me do this one then i'll do a hero strike for now and then uh we're gonna keep going our way through with these three, like balance through these three and also balance through the spear damage. And then also, sooner or later, we'll do the warrior damage as well because I know that I'm gonna have to do that eventually where I have to do just that. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We good night to Orton for watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and talk to Phoebe, turn this mission in, see where it takes us, and then. If it takes us to another quest, I'll do it. If not, then I'll just do the next side quest that I found that I see on the map, uh, and then I'll just follow through with those. I'm gonna be following through a lot of the side quests for now because I kind of want to get more EXP to get uh, more experience points to just kind of level my character up and get more ability points so I can be fully maxed in like all the ability stuff. And then of course it would help me with like the mercenaries at the very top of like the main game map or to deal with like any future sort of enemies that I had to deal with in the future of the series. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, other than that, that's it for this episode. Roz. Ah.